How to make $700 per day on Amazon is exactly what we're gonna be talking about today, but most importantly, we're gonna be talking about three different things that are very important for you to know before going into the business, which is how many products does that even need to get there? Number two, how much effort on your side? Number three, how much time is it gonna take you to get there? And then most importantly, if you stick around until the end, what I wanna do is I wanna give you something as a bonus, which is how much money you actually need to uh, have in order for you to get to this number. So let's go ahead and kind of just get started with the basic, which is how many products. Now, it just all depends on, and then you're gonna see that almost everything really depends on the investment, but that's something that we're gonna talk about a little later in the video. So the very first thing is how many products. You see, it all depends on you know how many units you actually sell per day and how much your product is actually, uh, uh, how much the selling price for your product is. So for instance, if you have a, say, a $30 uh, uh, product, you're selling a product for $30, and then you're selling, for instance, about 10 of those per day, right? So you're selling 10 per day, that's going to be $300, right? So you just need to simply do one of two things, either launch a, you know, because the reason why I said $30, I like 25 to $30 items, simply because they're easier to make work, there is decent amount of profit margins, at least 10 to $12, and also um, the investment that goes into it isn't that much, which I'm gonna talk about here in a little bit, but then also it's just easier to make happen. So a couple of things that you have to look into. If you're gonna sell a $30 product, and say the average sale is about 10 units per, per day, right? So 300 units per month. So the way you look at it is, I'm either going to increase the product price that I'm gonna sell, so you're going to go from $30 product to $60 product, right? Or let's just say $70 product, okay? Or I'm going to sell 20 units or 25 units to get to $700. So it's very basic and don't complicate things. You know, that's kind of one of the things that I'm known for. KISS, keep it simple, stupid, is you don't want to overcomplicate anything, right? So start with the average. The average product price is about $25, $30. 10 units per day is decent. Anybody, any beginner can get to 10 units per day in sales. That equals to $300. So then to double that, technically, almost, right? You're either gonna double the amount of sales that you sell of that unit or you're going to sell a product that costs a little more or sells for a little more. Or that's option number one, right? Option number two is going to simply be launching a second product, right? So you say, okay, so let's say one product sells for $30 and now you know you can sell about 10 units per day. That's $300 for me to double this. I simply need to launch a second product that does exactly the same thing. I need to launch another $30 item and sell about 10 to, say 15 units per day, right? And then this will get you to about $700 a day in revenue on Amazon. Now, how easy is this? Well, this is where this right here comes in. How much effort does that take? How much work does that take? How much, you know, how many hours per week does it take to uh, uh, run a, a, an Amazon business that has one product? How much work, how much extra work is it to have an Amazon business that has two products or three products or four products? Now. Now that you know this math, you can go back to the drawing board and say, well, maybe instead of, you know, maybe you're doing your research and then you find a product that sells for $15. Does that mean you dump it, right? If the numbers look good, if the competition is great, you can differentiate, you can stand out from the competition. No, you don't, you launch it. But then you just need to know now that instead of launching two products to get to $700 per day, you need to launch four products if all of them are gonna be $15. Or maybe you launch two $15 products and one $30 products. But this is just simple math that you can actually do, okay? Now before I get into this, if this is your first time to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. Also, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. It helps us uh, rank in the algorithm. So let's go ahead and go into effort. Now, how long does it usually take to run an Amazon business that has about a product or two products, right? So usually to locate a product, just in the beginning, let's say you just got started, you created your Amazon seller's account and then you went to creating, uh, to finding your first product. Usually on average, it takes between 10 to 20 hours to find one good product, right? So this is, you know, you could 
You can spend that in a day. You could break it over two, three days. It might take you two weeks. We've had students that find a product and, and within a week, we've had students that go two months without finding a product. It just all depends on your schedule. It depends on how busy you are, what's going on in your life, if you've got kids, if you've got other obligations. But on average, it takes between 10 to 20 hours to find one profitable product. So this is 10 to 20 hours to find a profitable product, right? Now, after that comes the differentiation, making sure that you know you, you start contacting suppliers, you start getting samples, uh, you also start uh, 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 um, you know, talking to people in the market, getting ideas, doing market research, all that stuff. And usually that takes another 10 to 20 hours, right? So let's just say uh, from the minute that you start your research until you find a product, uh, you find a supplier and, and, and everything is done, you know, you put in your deposit, let's say 30 to 40 hours. So effort, we're just gonna go down here and it's gonna take 30 to 40 hours. Now again, it's up to you and this is minimum, right? It could take you 50 or it could take you 20, right? So it's just kind of like an, uh, an average uh, range, right? And then it's all up to you on how long you're gonna do that over. You know, it's not, um, it's not like it has to be done within a week or a month or whatever. It's all according to your schedule. You could spread out these as, as you know, you can spread this out over six months or you can spread it out over two weeks, right? I obviously don't recommend you going over six months just simply because if you find a product that looks good today, in six months, the numbers are gonna change and you're gonna to have to redo product research again. So 30 to 40 hours are usually good and you should be able to accomplish that. I mean, I don't care how busy you are within a month of you actually starting the concept. So within a month, 30 to 40 hours, say it's 40 hours, if you take that and divide it over, you know, four weeks, that's about 10 to, let's just say 15 hours per week. In your first 30 days, you should have found a product and you should have also found a supplier. Okay, now this is, you know, so now you've got the numbers. Now we have how much effort is actually needed to go into uh, finding a product and supplier. Now let's go into, say you launch your product, how long does it take for you to actually get here? Because just because you found a product, just because, you know, you actually found a supplier does not mean that you're going to launch and immediately you're gonna to get to to $700. There is obviously, you know, you, you should get there gradually, right? There is the launch, there is maintaining uh, your sales, there is scaling your sales, there is optimizing your listing, there is, you know, uh, showing up for different keywords, you're not gonna launch and get here. So how long does it usually take to get to $700? So a product that sells for $30, I'm gonna go back to the same example, a product that sells for $30 that produces about 10 units per day, um, you want to start that, and this is very important, I would probably write it down. Usually, we don't start at $30. So let's say your target price, target price is $30, right? What we like to do is we like to start at break even or 75% of your, uh, 65 to 75% of your target price. So 65%, let's just call it, a thir two thirds of this price, so that's twenty dollars, which we can say nineteen ninety nine. So launch, launch price will be nineteen ninety nine. Now, why is that important? Why is a, the launch price important, and you don't launch at the same price? Because when you're first launching a brand new listing that no one knows about, no one has ever seen, um, your product has no reviews. Your product is, you know, is thrown all the way in the back of the searches and you just want a bunch of people to buy your product so that way you can rank in the algorithm because that's how you, you know, when you generate sales, you rank in the algorithm, the higher you rank in the algorithm, the more sales you generate and so on and so forth. So what do you want to do is you want to launch it at a lower than target price. And then from there you want to increase. And then the way that you're going to increase from 19 to 30, it's going to probably happen over a four to six week period, right? And then we have a formula at BJK University that we teach our students on how much to, you know, how much to increase, uh, uh, what to look for, what are some of the things that you want to look for. But obviously just kind of the basic things is you want to make sure every time, you know, you don't go from like 1999 to 2799, you want to go from 1999 to maybe always, usually the very first increment, I go the shortest in increment. So I'll go from 1999 to 2099, and then from there, maybe I'll jump to 22 or 23.99, depending on the velocity, right? You want to maintain. So you know that your goal is 10 sales per day, 
right? So what you want to do is you want to get this to this first before you increase or close to that, right? So if you're selling at 19.99, say anywhere between six to eight sales, then you increase. You maintain six to eight sales, then you increase and you increase, you increase. And that may take you four to six weeks minimum. Now that doesn't mean even when you get there, that everything is going to be profit because a lot of this money is going to be for advertising, for giveaways, for all that stuff, right? So it might take you two to three months to get to, to this number profitably, right? It'll take you probably about a month and a half to two months to get this price if everything goes as planned, but to get to it profitably, it might take you two to three months. During that two to three, two to three months, you've probably reordered the product at least once or twice, depending on how many units you actually start with, okay? Hope you're following me so far. If you are, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below, that way we can answer them. And again, do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button. So now that we know these three things, we know how many products we need to get here. The second thing is we need how much, we know how much effort, how much time goes into it. And then the third thing is how much time it takes to, you know, get a return on investment. Now, once you are here, this doesn't mean that you're gonna start taking all the profits out of there and putting it you know, in your pocket because this is just one product and maybe you don't have any more money and you wanna use the same profits because we're still not here, right? Even if when you're here, this times 10 only equals $300 and you want to get the $700, right? So then you wanna start taking money from here unless you wanna, you know, obviously if you have more money, I would reinvest in another business, in another product but you need to start taking money from here and then putting it back into another product launch. And then you simply go through the same cycle again. So for at least six to eight months, you're gonna be recycling your money all back into your business. And if you're like, but well, Bashar, this sounds crazy. I thought I'm gonna become a millionaire here overnight. Well, that's not, that's not what, what we talk about on this channel. In this channel, I tell you how it is exactly, you know, the harsh truth that other people don't talk about. And that's why our YouTube channel is not really that, uh, that popular among people out there because everyone is telling you how pretty it is and we're telling you how ugly it is, how entrepreneurship is not this cool thing. We're actually telling you what you're gonna actually see throughout the journey. We don't, we don't put, you know, we don't try to put lipstick on a pig. We just show you how the pig looks like when it first wakes up in the morning, okay? So, so now that we found those three things, now let's get into investment and how much you actually need to even get started and to get here. But before I do that, if you're enjoying the channel so far, and if you want to learn from us directly and want to know how BJK University can help you, click the link below this video where it'll take you to a short presentation that'll walk you through what BJK University is all about and how we can work with you and help you exactly so that way you can get to these numbers in the shortest time possible and that you don't have someone that's just the cheerleader and really not enough, uh, 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 you know, just a bunch of fluff and, you know, selling you an empty dream. Okay, so check that out. So let's go into investment. So I'm gonna make it simple here for you. I'm gonna look at a product that sells for $30. A product that sells for $30, usually the way that we go about, um, the way that we go about finding how much we should pay for a product to stay profitable is that we look at our sell price, our target sell price, not the launch price. You don't wanna make it, try to make it work with the launch price because it'll never work. You look at your target price where you wanna end up at, and you wanna make sure that your purchase, your DDP price, this is very important, not your manufacturing price, but your DDP. And I'll explain what that is. So DDP. What this price is, this is, um, shipping and manufacturing all the way to Amazon's warehouse. Because we're doing private label FBA, you wanna make sure that the price that you are getting, the DDP price includes your manufacturing cost, the manufacturing the good, and get it delivered all the way to Amazon's warehouse without you having to worry about anything, right? So that's super important for you to know. So then your DDP should be about 25 to 35% of that. So I'm not good at math, but if I just had to guess, I'm assuming it's about $6.50 to $8, I think. I think, I'm not sure. Because 32, about, yeah. So I, I think it's $6.50 to $8, right? So it all depends on how many units you're going to order. If we were to take, um, so say 30 times 0.25, so $7.50. Let me just make this correction here. So that's $7.50. And then 30 times 0.35 
is 1050. All right, so 1050. Okay, so 750 to 1050. Say if we're gonna take the smaller number, so 750, let's just say you're going to order 250 to 300 units. For ease of numbers, let's just say 300 units times 300. So that's 2250. And then if we were to take the higher number times 300 is 3150, right? So 2250 to 3150 would be your upfront investment to getting to, you know, getting to those numbers, right? Now, this is your first shipment. It's very possible that you might need to reorder and you might need to have that money upfront for the reorder because Amazon may not pay you fast enough, especially if your launch does greatly and especially if you run out of your units before Amazon pays you because Amazon only pays you every two weeks and a lot of that money might go to PPC, right? Now, again, after you've actually done all that and then your money's in your account, that doesn't mean this money you're going to take out of your business and put in your pocket. Understand, we're still only halfway to the $700 in order for us to do that. We either need to, obviously if there is potential, the very first thing you wanna see is, is there potential to get the same product to $700 a day. You know, if it's a $30 product, can I sell 20, 25 units instead of selling 10 units? That's the easiest thing you could do. You're not gonna find another product. You don't need to negotiate with more suppliers. You don't need to do anything. It's just selling more of the same thing, doing more of what works, keeping it simple, stupid, and focus, right? So that's the very first thing you wanna do. If it doesn't look like that same product can expand that much more, then that's when you're gonna go and launch another product. But both of them, because if you're gonna order 300 units and sell 10 units per day, that's 300 units per month, but then if you're gonna scale your sales to 20 units per day, 600 units per month, or 7, 650 or 700, you need to order more stock, meaning you need to invest more. So either way, you're gonna to need to reinvest that money back in the business, so that way you, you take the profits, you dump it back into the business, and then you either scale the same units, or you simply scale by going into another product. Hope this found you well and hope you found value in here. If you did, please smash the thumb, smash the thumbs up button if it's your first time. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you wanna learn from us, check out the link below this video. Hope to see you there. Take care.